ZF has invited me to the Formula E in Monaco, but first, let me tell you my story. My name is Marlene Arnois, I'm an Olympic medalist in Taekwondo and champion for peace. I'm committed to development and peace through the power of sport, and I also lead actions across the globe to support local sustainable initiatives. Following my success at the Olympics, I really wanted to have a positive impact and give back to society. It's here by this spirit that I launched a foundation in West Africa and mentored two young athletes on their Olympic journey all the way to their goal historical victories at the Rio 2016 Games. Following their success, we then launched a Caravan for Peace to unite champions and lead all together humanitarian actions such as integrating water fountains near sport fields or social libraries. And now, I'm proud to represent the Peace and Sport International Organization, based here in the Principality of Monaco. As all those experiences have strengthened my conviction that sport can be a driving force to make this world a better, more sustainable and inclusive place. So even today, I still train to stay healthy and motivated. The Principality might often be referred to as the playground for the rich and famous, with its mega yachts, luxury hotels and casinos. But here in Monaco, green is the new glam. Did you know that for decades, Monaco had been the leader advocating for sustainable development and environmental protection? Fun fact, over 20 years ago, Monaco was pioneering the use of electric cars. Today, I want to take you to a very green and special place in Monaco. Terre de Monaco was founded in 2016 as a small urban vegetable garden and now it's grown into one of the most remarkable citizen initiatives. Let's go! Hello! Hi! Welcome to my small farm, Terrai. <laughs> well, thank you so much for, for the visit. I've read so much about the impressive work you're doing as the founder of Terrari, but also as the ambassador of the uh, energy transition pact in Monaco. It's impressive everything that you've achieved and the vegetable gardens look wonderful. It's green, it's, it looks fresh and delicious. Thank you, my pleasure. As a founder of Terria, Jessica has five gardens in Monaco, including rooftop gardens where she grows vegetables, herbs, and even chickens, all of which feeds local residents and Michelin star restaurants of the Principality. In addition, she also has seven educational gardens next to elementary schools to raise awareness and share her passion with younger generations. Every year, she meets over 2,000 pupils and plans to expand to organic farming. But not only the rooftops in Monaco are getting greener, the whole e-mobility solutions are becoming more sustainable. Join me for a ride. Thanks to ZF, I have the opportunity to be here at the e -pre and meet the Mahindra Racing Team. I'm looking forward to hear what Alexander Sims has to say. Hello, Alexander. How, How are, are you? you? All good, thank you. All good. Awesome to be here in Monaco. So what are the challenges at the racetrack here in Monaco? 
Um, well, I mean, Monaco, it's a, it's a fantastic place to drive. You know, it's amazing history here, but um, it's a nice open circuit in places mixed with really tight, twisty corners. Um, so the, the combination of, of qualifying laps and racing is, is really a big challenge for us as drivers. Um, the, the fact that we've got a really strong powertrain helps us in the race. You know, ZF have done a brilliant job at giving us an efficient, strong powertrain um, that allows us to, to try and make as many overtakes as possible. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Perfect. And what does sustainability in Formula E mean to you? Uh, well, I mean, sustainability, it's a, it's a broad subject, but um, in, in Formula E, you know, they really focus on, on many areas, whether it be from transportation of the paddock between races, through to the materials that are used on the cars, the tyres that we use, they're all weather tyres, so it reduces the, the amount that we travel with. Um, there are various different things and, and they're ready for, for the future, they're always thinking about new things to, to improve on. Um, but, but yeah, me and my personal life, uh, it's something I've been really passionate about for many years actually. Um, and yeah, I have um, solar panels at home and driven an electric car for many years now and converted my heating even to, to air source heat pumps. So uh, yeah, it's, it's something that I really take a lot of uh, focus on. It's very impressive how you're trying to have a positive impact and how passionate you are and driven. Congratulations. Dilbag, how are you? Wonderful, Marlena. Happy to have you here with us in Monaco this I'm weekend. I'm so excited to be at the racetrack. Thank you for the invitation. No, it's a pleasure to have you here. So, um, Formula E is a pioneer in sustainability, and you've been a main figure of the championship since the first season in 2015. What is your impression of the development over the years? Well, see, Mahindra, this was new when he got into motorsport. This is our first major motorsport, I think. So we do not know what we're getting into. But so, as soon as we got into this, we realized this is a championship about the future. It's going to talk about the youth or people of what we are worried about, the environment, technology, etc. So the electric mobility is what was really important and we saw as a company we're moving towards that. At the same time also, we realized, okay, we can have fun while racing but, and be a responsible citizen by doing things right. And I'm pleased to say that we are the only motorsport team today which is net carbon zero and that's why we're the greenest team in motorsport in the world. Congratulations. Can you tell us more about the partnership between ZF and Team Mahindra? Mahindra is the body and ZF is the heart. Okay. okay. So the heart's pumping through this body because we get our entire powertrain from ZF and it's been an interesting relationship because the biggest progress we've ever made in the championship is after ZF has come in. And it's like over the last three years, both the teams have started working well together. We always call ourselves one team. It's not ZF Mahindra. Okay, like while I wear these two logos out here, they both are like one team in Germany, in UK and wherever we are. And it's amazing because what we're seeing is incremental progress race to race. And I think the spirit is just amazing. So it's a successful synergy in partnership. I think it's, it's a successful synergy because what we realized very early is that ZF is not a supplier, it's a partner. So we, so we started sitting on the same side of the table. We said, we have a common problem, is we want to be successful. We want to do well. We have to beat a competition. And it's not, okay, Mahindra, you're, ZF, you're giving me parts. We have to work together. And working together has taken us forward. Wow, perfect. Well, I'm wishing you all the best for this weekend. Thanks, Valina. Thanks for joining us, okay? Take care then. Thanks. That's it for today. It's been an amazing experience. I've learned a lot and I've met inspiring people who put so much effort to make this world more sustainable. I hope I was able to give you some insights about sustainability in Monaco and I want to thank ZF Motorsports for making it possible. Together I hope we can have a positive impact. 